Welcome to Weekly Code Quickies. In today's episode, you will learn about V. As always, I'm NoverBM, bringing you the latest tech news, coding tricks and tips, and more. With being said, let's get started with the episode. So, what is V? VIT is a next generation front end build tool that focuses on providing a faster and cleaner development experience for modern web projects. VIT was developed by also the creator of Vue.js, which is even you. VIT is designed to address the performance and development challenges faced by traditional bundles like Webpack and Rollup. It is particularly optimized for frameworks like Vue.js, React, and others offering features like instant server start, fast hot module replacement or HMR, and optimized production build. So why use Vite? What did it solve? What, what is the actual problem? The problem is slow server start due to the fact that each time you change something in the code, the bundler has to run through your code again and rebundle it. Vite addresses several key issues that developers encounter with traditional build tools and development workflow. Some of these problems are slow development server start time, the problem, traditional bundles like Webpack and Rollup can take a significant amount of start time when development servers start, especially for large projects, that is. This slow startup time can hinder productivity as developers must wait for the server to initialize before they can start working. The solution for this, this starts the development server instantly serving source files directly as native EX6 module. This approach eliminates the need for bundling during the development process, which means drastically reducing the startup time. Sluggish hot module replacement, or HMR again. Hot module replacement, HMR, allows developers to see changes in their code without fully refreshing the page. However, traditional tools often have slow HMR performance, especially in large projects, leading to long waiting time after making any kind of changes. The solution for this is to provide lightning fast HMR by only refactoring the specific modules that have changed. The module-based approach ensures that updates are refactored instantly, enhancing the feedback loop and boosting developer productivity. Also, complex configuration. Now, there are many more, but I have chosen these three because these are especially important. Complex configuration problem. Setting up and configuring a traditional build can be complex and time-consuming. Developers often need to write extensive configuration files and manage numerous plugins to their desired setup. The solution for this is to come up with sensible defaults in your configuration, that is, and require minimal config to set up your start. But for more advanced use cases, you can of course configure Vite in depth as you wish. So how to set up Vite? First of all, a couple of prerequisites. You will need Node.js and NPM. For both of them, I have created installation videos, so check them out and you're good to go. But you will need both of them. Now let's set up Vite. In order to install Vite and create a Vite project, you can use the following command to set up Vite for its latest version. For npm, create Vite at latest. Now, in order to create your project, after running the commands, you will be prompted to name your project, choose vanilla JavaScript or TypeScript, or to cho choose a framework like React or Vue. Next up, you will navigate to your folder, to your freshly created project folder, by cd into your created folder, then install the required dependencies, because when you're using React, you will have specific React dependencies. If you're using Vue.js, you will have specific Vue.js dependencies. And now let's start the server by typing in npm run dev. The project structure. Let's explore a project structure of a typical Vite project. In case of a React, it might look something like this. You have your app main folder, then you have your index.html file, your package.json, your source, where you have all your source code, then your public folder, and your vid config. Now, four things. The index.html file is the main HTML file, as always. The source code folder is where you're going to type all of your source code. The vid config file is where you can do changes, as I said, in depth or simple changes to your config. For example, you're going to take a look at it just in a couple of seconds. And your public folder is where you store your static assets like images and so forth and so on. Now, for changes in your vid config, a typical configuration looks something like this. For example, you created a React template, then you're going to have as a plugin React, and your server could start at 3000, but of course you can change it to whatever you want, 8020, 7000, so far and so on. Also, the public directory, so the output for the public directory can be also changed as you wish. So in conclusion, we solve several critical problems associated with the traditional build tools by offering fast, simple and more efficient development experience. By leveraging native ES modules, modern JavaScript features, 
and optimized build processes, Beat addresses the pain points of slow server start time, sluggish HMR, complex configuration, inefficient dependency management, and much more. This makes Veet a powerful choice for modern web development, also enabling you to focus more on developing instead of setting up. So with this being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell if you want to see more videos just like this. If you have any kind of questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. As always, I'm NoVPN, wishing you happy coding. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.